drop, gonna drop. There's also been a change to how people feel about uh, Puerto Ricans and Cubans using the N word. You know, when you're growing up in New York, people view them and blacks as almost like one in the same, right? They have the African blood through the slave trade, but it's like over the past few years, things have gotten more sensitive. And it's like the, a lot of people are like, why do you get to say that word? So how do you feel about that? I feel that when I write now, I also understand the offensiveness of and how sensitive it is now. So I try not to use it at all, even though, you know, I might that word might be just stuck in my vocabulary because of doing so much time in prison with my brothers or them calling me man. You know what I'm saying? But um, because in Chicago, you grew up like that as well, right? It was kind of like, yeah, yes. That word uh, is very loosely used by Puerto Ricans here uh, in a, in a, my brother kind of way, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I also have noticed how sensitive times are, and I try to be a better writer and lyricist and uh, a presenter, uh, and I try not to use that word. Do you like that things are more sensitive in today's climate? Do I like it? I respect it. Okay. You know, and it might be better, you know, for the youth. You know what I'm saying? Right. Cause- and, and... It makes you be more creative. Instead of saying, you got to find another word to say. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I saw that, uh, I'm sure you saw it too, that video when um, Joe was explaining how like people view him when he's saying it because he he has naturally has blonde hair, blue eyes, and he's light-skinned. Child, could you tell me what nationality is fucking Fat Joe? What the fuck is Fat Joe? He's Puerto Rican and Cuban. For sure. That's what he is? Yeah, he's half and okay. half. Okay, I didn't know. I knew he was Puerto Rican and something else. I didn't know. So, okay. So he can't get the pa- the pass by saying he's half black, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Even though some Cubans are blacker than black people, you know? But Right, right. But, you know, it's, it's, I think the problem is that, like, some people, you know, because there are, like, some Puerto Ricans that don't like being compared to black people that don't view themselves as being, like, within that same vein. And then that gets used as the kind of like the scapegoat where it's like, oh, like, well, y'all view yourselves as not like us anyways, you know? So I think that that's where some people have a problem with it. But I've just noticed more and more over the years, there's been a difference that kind of like that line drawn in the sand where it was not like that before. There was more gangster rap before, though. You know what I'm saying? Now everything is kid friendly. You know, you can't even say really too much of a bad word on TikTok or they'll, you know, uh, deactivate your account. You know, they'll, 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 you know, um, so it being it is a lot more sensitive and I um, have no problem evolving with the times. If I'm going to make music, I'm going to leave that word out of my vocabulary. You know, from this point on, I might have done it already. You know what I'm saying? You did say it earlier. You did say it earlier. Okay. (laughs) Well, I mean, I've even probably put it in my, probably, I've even probably used it in my music before. But do I respect that people, do I understand that people get offended? Did I mean, uh, yes. Do I, did I mean ever any offense or any disrespect? Uh, No, I, uh, at all, I damn very well know that I have African blood and I know where my roots Taino come from and I get that so you know yeah I mean I don't yeah I don't consider myself anything other than that you know what I'm saying at the end of the day you know right because you know I think what it is is like with cancel culture and everything it's made things so so much crazier right so for you to come from that old school and everything and you watch now the cancel culture take over like what is that like for you it's powerful you know and it's sad at the same time you know because you say one thing that uh maybe a whole society or a group uh doesn't agree with and now everybody wants to you know just because everybody has access to you know, some gossip page or the news or whatever. It's so quick to, it's too easy. And, you know, for, 
Yeah, I think that's totally wrong, you know, uh, and it's, yeah, I think it's fucked up. I think it's fucked up because someone says something fucked up one time that, you know, everybody just wants to cancel you. And I think it's it's too powerful, you know, in the media, they even want to do you like that. It's crazy because, like, people lose their livelihood over sponsorships, everything. Like, people dig up old tweets from, like, years ago, and it's like, bro, you, it, shouldn't there be a, a statue of limitations on this <laughs> shit? Like, you know what I mean? Like... <laughs> it's crazy, man. The industry is going to do, they're going to pick and choose, you know. Um, it's, it's gatekeepers out here, baby. It's Illuminati's out here. You know what I'm saying? You only get past them gates if, uh, you know, you play by their rules, bro. You know, so.